Well, we're here at the John Deere dealership looking at a backhoe to buy, or not an excavator. That's what we're looking at, apparently. Just show everybody how it works out. You just, you take the thing and you <laughs> put it in here. You gotta turn it. You're gonna lock this down. It's your controls. This is your exhilarator left, exhilarator right. And this is all you joy. This is where the magic happens right here, baby. <laughs> he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. I'd rather have that one. Well, I meant to take the video to see the truck getting the corn stalks was really, really, really stuck. So we had to bring the big loader over because they're a little JCBM. That's why you never buy a JCBM. It's not good for anything at all. Buy a big John Deere. Put forks, whatever you want on it with a quick disconnect. We rutted it up some, so now my brother's just filling the ruts in. He wants his driveway nice and slick. This is like his little personal hunting farm. So, but nothing ever goes smooth. Nothing ever goes smooth. I think I had it zoomed in too much. We had the John Deere guy, Brian, up there putting belts on the combine, so that took us away from him to come do this. So, he's up there by himself. Sorry, Brian, if you watch this, sorry. I meant to get a, I meant to get a video of how bad the truck was stuck, but we were worried about getting it out. And instead of, and I meant to take a video of it. So, but we got her out anyway. And they're hauling the corn stalks away. Let me see. We got that pile, then we got a pile at another farm right across the road, and then ours will be all hauled and done. It'll be perfect. Well, we're gonna haul some beans today. Peterbilt came in, got the square move. Oh, a couple loads of beans. Of course, my brother left the, when he put the sprayer away the other week, he left the key on. So now we're in the process of jump starting it with one of the beans. So instead of getting anything done this morning, we're wasting time doing this. Well, we finally got it started. Here's my brother pulling out with the truck. See him on the camera. Well, I guess you could. and backup cameras are the best thing you can put on a piece of equipment, especially a sprayer or a planter. Now we can get everything put away. I got the combine done. Let this thing run for a little bit. I gotta unhook one hopper and hook the other hopper up because it's got plenty of beans on it. I don't want to get rid of them yet. Get rid of regular beans.
me after he left and said, check your fuel. So, she's close empty, so let's hope she's got enough to get solid grain back. So, nobody ever believes putting fuel in these things, so. I don't know. Let's try a millennial farmer deal. in Salisbury, Maryland. Pull up to the probe station. Huge place. I have no idea why we're waiting here. We got five dumps around this place and they're forcing everybody to go in one dump. Trucks all behind me. Trucks all in front of me. My brother's up there and I don't know, two or three trucks ahead of me and there he is, going around the bend, see him in the blue peak. Going around the bend. And they got dumps here. Dumps around this corner. And then they got dumps around that corner, and these two corners, and these two dumps around this corner. Obviously are the tightest freaking dumps. They need to dump farm trucks on them things. They're so tight. Three, four, and five are where they need to send big Peterbilts. And they do it just fast ass backwards. Backwards is so ridiculous to my damn nerves. I don't understand any of it. But it's the place that takes beans. They got a monopoly on this shit. It pisses me off too how they scam people. Because I think they're 50 under. They used to be 35 and then they went up to 50. And they went up to 60 during the season. I locked a bunch in at 35 before they did it, but it is what it is now, I guess, to my nerves. Now they're backing up. Who the hell knows what the hell is going on? <laughs> so ridiculous. So anyway, we haven't really had a bad fall. I think we had a dust in the snow once, that's it. Deer season sucked. I think my son saw a couple does. That's about it. It's always something happened to the deer. I have no idea what. But, and I cut my hair, as you can see. It's starting to go bald up top. So I might as well just keep it all cut off. Just waiting. No, oh, there you go. We're moving up now. Thank the Lord. These are last loads of our regular beans. Everything else we have is punished all over here. I wish we'd just plant all plenish. They yield really, really, really good. And they pay you more for them. So. I don't trust her in this line. They're all behind me too. Pretty 
big place now. Just the left side. Pretty big place. There's no reason there's a line here in the winter time. But who knows? Get past this house. about 15 minutes or do something like that Got everything done, put away. Everything washed, waxed, everything. Finally got the combine done. She's all put away. You can't see it, it's dark in the equipment shop, storage shed. The only thing I got to do really when we get the planter out, work on her. But sprayer, 9200, 8335. Everything's done. Done, done, done. Got her all set up for wheat combine, so don't have to fool with it. We went ahead and did it. But the planter's all washed and greased. All I got to do really is some minor work to it. Get that all done. But we'll do that when we pull her out. You know, that's too many hoses to hook up on these planters to hook them up and unhook them, hook them, unhook them for right now, anyway. Let the seed tender put away. That's a nice, nice seed tender. Nice, nice seed tender. But you got the peach in here with two loads of beans. You got the other one sitting out there. Took two loads over. Two loads over this morning. Got them empty, so we got two more. Wish we had grain tanks, but we can't never seem to get that or irrigation. So <clears throat> I'll do an equipment tour one day. I see everybody doing equipment tours. I'll have to do an equipment tour one day. Probably summertime when it's hot. I can open these doors up, get some more light in here, or when we start pulling them out. I'll definitely do it before we get them dirty, though, while everything's nice and shiny and clean. <clears throat> 